The MPs were summoned from the Easter break purposely for the five loan agreements, some of which have been outstanding since last year. The facilities are the $60.6 million as a third additional financing for the Ghana COVID-19 Emergency Preparedness and Response Project, $150 million US dollars to finance the West Africa Food Systems Resilience Program and 170 million euros for the establishment of the Development Bank of Ghana, among others. The minority side argued against the facilities, explaining government should not be borrowing in this crucial time of the economic crisis occasioned by the reckless borrowing. The Parliament of the Republic of Ghana represented by its 275 elected MPs, even at this age and time of unprecedented economic difficulty arising out of excessive borrowing, which comes at cost to the Ghanaian taxpayer, the Parliament of Ghana is being called upon to approve a loan amount of 150 million US dollars. Mr. Speaker, today, Ghana is not only debt distress. We are currently between 98 to 103 percent of debt to GDP ratio of borrowing to the level of 576 billion to 600 billion Ghana cities. That this house is not minded that there must be a stop to borrow it. There must be. And this house must provide that leadership for the Ghanaian people. The majority side explained that the facilities are all targeted at specific projects and tasks must be supported. And is anybody arguing against this? Is anybody arguing against it? That you don't want farmers to be able to assess agricultural technologies? Yes, figure. It's the reason why I'm saying that I can understand, for the life of me, the import of those of them who are arguing that we should reject this facility. So, Mr. Speaker, I think that this is crystal clear what is intended to be done with and by this facility. And I believe that we should all rise in unison to support it. If, if the argument is that Parliament should be positioned to be able to trace and track the disbursement of the amounts. That is our responsibility. Despite these, Today's the other House paper, approved. Say aye. aye. All again say no. No. I think the eyes have it. Kumla Kluche, TV3 News, Parliament House, Accra.